Hi there, let's take a look at building the PMT function for business unit two. This is step 20. So I'm on the online sheet within the Excel file for this homework assignment. And I am currently on cell B11. And just a note, remember that we're building a monthly payment function. So I'm gonna start out as I would with any payment function, our little PMT. And then I'm going to double click on the function name to accept it from the list. And one of the great things about Excel is that it always tries to help us along the way. Well, lots of times it tries to help us along the way. So here, notice just below where I'm entering the function, it's giving me a prompt for the input that I need. So if you can't remember all of the inputs that you need to add for the PMT function, Excel will try to help you. So the first one, the one that's bold currently, it says, hey, you need to enter the rate. Well, I can look and I can see my interest rate is here. What is that? B10. And then I need to think, I need to stop and think for just a minute. This is the interest rate for the entirety of the loan, and I'm calculating monthly payments. So I'm going to divide this interest rate by 12, right? 12 times a year, 12 months a year. So I'm going to add the slash 12 and type the comma to then move on to the next input for this function name and that's NPER. So sometimes it's a little tricky because you got to remember what these little acronyms stand for. NPER is the number of payments and I can calculate the number of payments by clicking on B9 times 12, right? Because I'm going to make a payment every month. All right, add a comma. The third input value then is PV, which stands for present value. That's really just the value of the loan. We're going to take out a big loan that's sitting here in B5. And that's the only inputs that we need to add. I can wrap this up with my right hand parentheses, but wait, the instructions also tell us that this needs to be a positive result. So you hang out right there. I'm going to press enter. If I just enter this, see how it's by default a negative amount? I can think of it this way that to me as a person, this is a negative, right? It's coming out. I have to pay this to somebody else. It's a negative to me. But the instructions tell us to switch this to be a positive amount. There's a couple different ways I can do that. One way, so I'm going to go back up to cell B11. One way to switch it to a positive amount is to add the minus sign directly before the PMT, the function name. So I'll add that minus sign, the dash, and then I'll press enter. And now it's a positive result. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me.